Hi Dragons, thank you so much for having us today. I'm Charlotte and this is Grant and we are co-founders of Yard Art UK Limited. Yard Art UK produces artwork for outdoor spaces. It's UV, waterproof and weatherproof, resistant and easy to install. So Dragons, that's what Yard Art makes, but hopefully you can see what it can do is transform a very boring fence or a wall or a garden or a courtyard into somewhere that you want to spend more time in, makes it feel more inviting. Um, we've been stocked and sold through high street retailers, including John Lewis in the past, and we sell a lot through our own social media channels and our own website. So that's the product that we have, and we hope you see the opportunity. What's your ask? What's our ask? Our ask is £50,000 in return for 25% of the business. Thank you. Are you married? We yes. are married, yes. Right. And just tell us a little bit of background of how, we, how you got here. Uh, well, my background's... Are, um, I work in the insurance business. This business is really Charlotte's. She's done a huge amount of work on it. I have done my piece to try and keep the business sort of on the straight and narrow, as it were. So I um, started originally my career in HR. Um, I gave that up to have a family. Um, my life changed a little bit um, after children. We lost our twin daughter. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. Um, so my life and outlook changed. Um, and I wanted to go back and do something that I loved, um, which was art. And it was a real tonic for me. Sorry. <laughs> all right, it's all right, that's okay. It's all right. Um, so, so I started doing my own art and I started selling my own art. So are any of these pieces yours? Um, the middle one in the gold frame at the top. That's fabulous. Thank you. I would have been shouting that coming out of the middle. <laughs> Um, thank you. Thank you for stop, stopping me crying. <laughs> thank you for sharing us your thank story, you. Charlotte. And, and, and I'm sorry about your loss. Thank you. Thank you, too. Um, l let's just talk about the business and uh, numbers. OK. In 2021, our turnover was £80,000 with a gross of 29000 and a net loss of eleven and a half. Last financial year we did 73,000 turnover with a 36,000 growth with a net loss of 1,644. I mean the numbers are uh, small I would say. Yeah, There's not, um, but, the... but the question becomes really is where can this business really go? So far you've been in John Lewis and is that continuing? No because their margins were very hard to work with. Um, we were actually losing money and we decided to start focusing a little bit more on our website because the margins were better. Grant, Charlotte, hi. Hi. Peter. Um, there's a really big issue here immediately with regards to your actual business model itself. Well, I don't really, I, I'm not sure I can. What were you selling it question. into John Lewis at, as an example? 70 pounds. And what was it costing you to make? Um, 50. Well, there's your issue then. Yes, and actually we, we, we were very... Yeah, but then it's a very immediate decision. Which is say, why we've moved away and we're now... Well, no, no, moved away is one thing. Making the decision to do it in the first place is odd. No, if you get into somewhere like that, you're immediately getting some credibility that you're a quality product. So we knew and we had our eyes wide open that the margins were really going to be tight for us. But we thought if we could get in there initially and have that kudos behind us, to say to people, this is but where we is are. what is it about that product that's costing you £50? By the way, I'm involved in this type of business because I own a, an imaging company. I don't understand how you got a price of £50 for the, your uh, outdoor acrylic. Well... That seems really expensive. Does it? Yeah. That's less than £15, that acrylic. I think you're clearly overpaying for your product. Thank you for your feedback. Well, let's hope Peter's right and you are overpaid well, because if yeah. so, there's a lot more margin to be made, isn't there? Yeah. And can I just say, I, I totally get your strategy with that big retailer. Well, can I ask, why are you specifically asking for 50,000 today? You know, not a lot of people come in offering straight up to give away 25% of their business, so you clearly recognise that you need to give a dragon some skin in the game to really want to get behind this. And I wondered if it was just wanting to give away a good chunk to get the skin in the game, or if it was a case of, we want to spend 50,000 specifically on this. So it's a bit of both, Sarah, in that we recognise that the business is at a stage where 
we're coming to you offering potential or offering opportunity and we want that to be meaningful so that someone does come in you know and has some um, skin in the game as you put it in terms of investment i think what would be really key for us is driving traffic to our website because already we've spent money last year on our marketing some some work some didn't who's who's managing the marketing within the team because i know um, a particular business that built a nine-figure business selling canvas art via facebook ads have you tried facebook ads Could yes be paid, okay. paid, paid um, ads so so we have tried facebook and instagram ads but to be honest we didn't have the the skills and we didn't feel like we had the the money behind us the skills i think you've done a really good job i actually gr completely agree with sarah i think sometimes in fact i advise business sometimes to put yourself somewhere as marketing almost but the scale of the opportunity is the thing that worries me as an investor so i'm afraid i won't be investing thank you i'm out Deborah. i would like to say that i have a huge level of deep admiration for you charlotte to create something out of a beyond nobody could ever understand sad moment. Thank you. I think that says a lot about who you are. But then this is one where I think by just finding the right printers, finding the right business model, you could scale this and build this and have a wonderful business yourselves. So I generally would much prefer you actually, in all honesty, to have much more of your business and actually not be part of that journey and just read about you later on in life. And for that reason, I'm gonna say that I'm out. Thank you. I don't think you need a dragon. I think this is your business and I would not want to take away 25% of your business for not doing a lot. And for okay, that reason, you. I'm out. Thank you. Thanks for the Do you know, it's not very often I sit here in the den. Usually I sit here next to Tuga and we agree on 90% of stuff. We're both product people but I could not be more in disagreement with what I've heard him say today. Of all of the people we get walking through those lift doors, I see in front of me people who need a dragon more than anything else. Fact. You know, because actually while you've been talking, I've sat and written, written a whole new business plan down here. <laughs> and I think with 50,000 investment and a lot of business support, there's a long way you could go with this business. I will offer you all of the money, 50,000 pounds, in return for 35% of the business today on the basis that you will let me write you the new business plan and then in 12 to 18 months time we'll have made a lot more money than what you're talking about and she'll drop down to the 25% if I get my money back in let's say 18 months. Thank you. Sarah, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. I really should have decided before it got to me, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, just, just some outstanding questions. How much does that small silver tiger piece cost? Three hundred pounds. Direct to consumer. Yeah. Okay. So it's on my business plan list to address that. Is it? Just in case you were worried. <laughs> Can you tell me how you address it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you how yeah. I address it, but you know, if we were, if we were in a partnership, then I would absolutely be uh, sharing that sort of information. This is like having to marry someone without seeing who you're marrying. Can I see if that's possible, sir? <laughs> it's a really nice plan, Stan. You know I can't see that small I know you can. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you half of the money for 17.5% of the business on the basis that I'll drop down to 12.5% if we get our money back within 18 months, but that's a choice you can make at the time. Thank you. Um, we actually couldn't ask for a better offer and we'd love to accept it, so thank you. Oh, thank you both so much. That's thank what you, you might welcome. say. Give us a hug. I'm an excellent. I'd pretty much decided in five minutes, thank started you. writing your business plan. <laughs> <laughs>